morning. It's the morning of our last day of retreat, or our second day. It's a quick stop. We are about to head out to the airport, the Arusha airport, to fly to Alani Plains. Yay! We're uh, in the Serengeti. Fully packed, mm -hmm. bed's empty. We're just got our last bit of stuff over there to take care of. And uh, we're heading to the Serengeti. Should be fun. Yay. We'll see. Yeah, breakfast was good. Yeah. Morning was nice. Always like running up against the clock. Rachel got a nap in. I had 3, to, 8 a.m. I, I had to go back to bed after breakfast. We woke up early and I left myself plenty of time to accomplish stuff, but I didn't. I'm excited for today. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. See you guys in a minute. Here at the Arusha Airport in the Coastal Aviation Lounge, if you will. Our bags ended up coming in at 25 kilograms with a max of 30 kilograms, so not bad. But our boarding passes said you're allowed 10 kilogram carry-ons. So we actually took out like the laptop and all the camera equipment and are bringing that in our carry-on, um, which is good because I don't know what they do with the luggage under there. So we'll just have it with us and it seems like that weight isn't a big deal and that you can actually have a pretty heavy carry-on so maybe some misinformation out there about bags but that's what our boarding pass said <laughs> We made it to our Jeep. Super spacious. Yeah. And guess what? But there are outlets in the car. How cool. Yeah, it makes people sick. Also, he brought us beer. So we like James. Yeah, he said it was going to take two hours to get to the camp. So we're going to do a game drive and then find a place to sit and have lunch and then go to the camp at night. Because, yeah, we're fine with that. So cute. Oh, thank you. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's so many. It's over here, too, yeah. How big would um, like a group be? Sometimes the group would reach up to 40 members of the group. Oh, wow. Yeah. a private dinner and we have a private fire here's the look at the tent from the outside we're staying in a stargazer tent so in addition to our regular tent we have this platform we're gonna have dinner up top here and they said we can only stay out till 9 30 so that's actually not that much time but um it looks beautiful and we can also lay out here during the day if we come back um you can't see in the camera but the stars are actually stunning mm -hmm. Mine's dinner for a seven. Yeah, they said empty plates. That's not happening. It's a funny joke. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Is it nice and warm with the water bottle? It's amazing. <laughs> it's between my legs right now. 
That's so nice. Anyway. Are we um, start having water bottles in our bed? Well, I don't hate it. <laughs> um, we are going to bed. It's so not quite 9.30. No. Exhausted. Wrecked. Had a full dinner, a bottle of wine. Wrecked. Just Rachel's fall asleep at the dinner table. I did fall asleep at the dinner table. <laughs> so, we, uh, we want to take advantage of this place, but yeah. like, it's so hard because you get back and you're so tired. So tired and you're just so full. Out all day, not necessarily in the sun and not necessarily doing activities. It was cold. But you're just like, we sat, ride. we sat in the cold. Sat in the cold, right? And you ride around on a, you know, a truck all day with like bumps and, you know, some work. That sounds like that sounds a complaint. It's not. I don't so. want to leave this place. The service here is incredible. It's great. Oh no, but I got to go to bed right now. Miss you in the morning, but holy cow, just got back from an amazing morning game drive. It was crazy. Um, also, when they say we're leaving at 6, that really means someone's showing up at your door at 5.30 to walk you. Yeah. <laughs> just see it in the daytime. Hello. Hello. So comfy. And this is the bathroom with all the amenities. It's very, very nice. And the hot water bottles in the bed to keep it warm was so awesome. Anyway, we're supposed to be back at noon. It's 1.30. We're gonna have lunch and then we're leaving again at four. So we're gonna have a private lunch out on our patio. Oh, I wanna show the stargazer in the day too. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. So pretty.
home for last night, night two. Another fire. I don't know if the footage would do it justice, but we saw what? Eight cheetahs, one leopard. So the lions we... were all pretty boring, but that's okay. Like really big. <laughs> but we had. But we do that. They're, they sleep during the day. We so. had a drink with a lion at sunset, which is pretty cool. So many cats. If you want to see big cats. Yeah. Oh, this is like a cauliflower cheese, green beans. A vegetable skewer, and tofu maybe, and a potato. So good, yeah. Yeah, looks really good. <laughs> we didn't say goodbye last night or good morning. It's we're terrible at this. Yes, it's very hard on Safari. You are never alone. Literally, there's always ever, somebody. Somebody is always there. So I don't want to be rude. So sorry about that. This is the official end to Alani Plains. Incredible. Yeah, I mean the stuff we saw was so great. Um, they have open air vehicles, which we didn't see a lot of. I only saw one other camp that had them, and yeah. it was a really cool experience. We just got to the airstrip, and we're about to head to Kaz Kaz, where we will hopefully see some wildebeest. That's the goal. And potentially a rhino. That's the last of the big five that we have to see, mm -hmm. which would be really cool. So. Um, saying goodbye for now and uh, see you in the northern Serengeti? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Where we already are. More north? We're in the eastern north. Okay. <laughs> Bye.